We're pleased to have psychotherapist Leslie Cutler join us again today. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you, Julie. It's great to be here. We're having our mindful moments today. We are. And we're going to talk about body image. We're going to talk about five ways to develop a healthier body image. Okay. Which seems so appropriate this time of year. Yes. And it's interesting because, you know, a lot of people think that loving your body has everything to do with diets, detoxes, and looking a certain way. Mm -hmm. But it has absolutely nothing to do with that. It really is the way you think and specifically how you think. See, we ourselves are our own in inner critics. We right. judge ourselves and we judge ourselves harshly. We've all been in this place where it's like, you know what, I look awful, I'm just gonna eat that other piece of pizza. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> the heck with it. You know, wh whatever, <laughs> I'm just gonna right. do it. And we've all done that before, you know, and we think that I've been trying this for years, I've been trying to be healthy, it hasn't worked, what's the point? But. You know, then we go off and we discuss with our friends, you know, I need a diet, I need to lose weight, I need to look a certain way to get that certain partner or whatever else. And it really does set us up for, for failure on so many levels. So imagine you said to your child, listen, you're not gonna do well in school. You don't have what it takes. You don't have the motivation. And that's the way it's gonna be. It would be terrible. It would be terrible. <laughs> and that child would stand no chance of ever meeting any type of success. Right. Truly. So it just leads us nowhere and it keeps us stuck. So what we need to do is to pull back and to be quiet and more mindful and aware of our thoughts. So I wanted to discuss this how we can observe ourselves without judging ourselves in five ways. Okay, so the five ways start with number one, which is tune into your thoughts. Yes. So the very first piece is to start tuning in and paying attention. Being a little bit more mindful of the tapes that are playing in your head. So often it's the voice of chastisement. So it's important to step back and ask yourself, well, is this my truth? Is this serving me? And well, I wanna hold on to this. So it's basically pausing and stepping back and just listening is okay. the first one. The second is to pay attention and see how you judge yourself. So we can't change things that we're not aware of. Right. And so often the voices in our heads are voices from say a parent, yeah. um, you know, maybe a well-meaning friend right. or perhaps an enemy. And we listen to this and we accept this as our truth because nothing stands in the way of saying, this is not my truth. So it's, in, right. So you li listen to your own. Listen to your own. Realize that that voice is a part of you, but is not you right. in, in a way. And so, you know, to let go of the stuff that no longer serves you. Okay, so the third thing would be to reframe um, your place of observation. What does that mean? Okay, so when you start to feel ready, you can re reframe these thoughts. So look at the judgment piece. This is what it might look like. This is how we judge ourselves. It might sound like this. You know what? I feel gross. Today was awful. I ate everything in sight. I give up. I don't think there's any way that I can help myself at this point. And I'm it's hideous. I'm gross. I'm a loser. Bingo. All of that. <laughs> Life's so, over. <laughs> yeah, so that's coming from a place of judgment. Right, right. And so what we really want to do is look at it, look at things from a place of observation. So stepping back a little bit and saying, yikes, I really didn't do well today. What could I have done differently? You know what? I skipped breakfast. I didn't take time to prepare lunch. And you know, I made decisions today that just didn't serve me overall. So tomorrow I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z differently. Okay. So that's more coming at it from a place of observation okay. versus a place of judgment. Okay. And the next one is to dig deep. Be aware of what your feelings are, what you're thinking and observations and looking at it and say, how does this make me feel? What is my biggest takeaway? And you know, how can I appreciate and what can I learn from this particular thing? Okay, so the fifth and final one in our last minute is to start doing. Yes. So what and do we mean by start doing? And this is where the challenge comes in, but this is also where the work truly, truly happens. Right. It's, you know, stepping back from the observation place, paying a little bit more attention, start making changes, you know, looking at it more in a transformational type of way. Right. You know, it's interesting because sometimes our inner critic can become our life coach if we treat it correctly. And there's a quote by Louise LaHaye that I absolutely love and I carry with me often in my mind and it says, remember, you have been criticizing yourself for years and it hasn't worked. Try approving of yourself and see where it happens. Oh, and what a great way to end. Yes. Try approving of yourself and see what happens. Yes. Perfect. Perfect advice. Thank you, Leslie. Thank Once you again, so much, Julie. It was great to be here. It was great to have you.